my videos. I Okay, watching Audrey here, we can see that we're going to switch cameras. We're going to go from this wide shot to a closer shot. And we use the Synchronize option in Final Cut Pro 10, not the Multicam Editor, but the Synchronize option to do this effect. So it's a quick, easy way to do it, and I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. And then we're going to show you the entire video clip of Audrey, and you'll be able to see the finished results. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Okay, we just did another photo shoot with uh, Audrey Scherer, the host of Hooping Live, and I'm going to go over how I synchronize clips in Final Cut Pro 10. There's also a multicam editor, and that's a different procedure, but this is synchronizing clips, which I find easier with a two or three camera shoot. I like to use the synchronizing clips option. Uh, call me old-fashioned, but that was what I used before they came out with the multicam editing tool and that's what I still use most of the time now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by uh, creating a new project and I'm going to call this Audrey Synchronize I think that's synch Synchronize Clips okay and I'm going to create a new project. <clears throat> then, and this really is the hardest part of synchronizing clips, is finding the two clips that you want to synchronize together. And if you shoot a bunch of clips at a shoot, it is best to name each clip. Do a clap when you start your cameras and say, scene one, clip one, whatever. And, and so name it so that you know that you can match them up. And of course, yesterday when we shot these clips, we didn't do that. And we ended up shooting more clips than I thought we were going to shoot. And so this is going to be the hardest part, is finding the two clips that we want to sync together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to, let's see here. I'm going to go to the last clip and work backwards. So I'm going to start right here and see what this clip is. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit of something new. I kind of want to say a little, oh, I need to start that over. Three, two, one. So last but not least, I want to do every month, continue with my favorite person or animal, but every month it's going to Oh, this is a good one because she's going to actually talk about me. So let me find <laughs> the other camera for that shot. Here it is, I think. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit of something new. I kind of want to say a little, oh, I need to start that over. Okay, right. so obviously those are the two clips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going <laughs> to select these two clips. All right, I just selected them on a Mac. I command clicked on them. I'm going to right mouse click, and there's an option here to synchronize clips. And I'm going to go ahead and do that, and it's going to do it pretty quickly. Of course, your computer may vary depending on how much RAM you have and your CPU and all that. But it's doing it right now, and I can pull up the process indicator while it's 100% done, so it's already done. So now it's going to put another clip down here at the end. Where is it? Do, 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 do. Oh, it should be here somewhere. Where did it put it? Oh, okay. It put it up here on a different day. Usually I do these things the same day. That's why I'm a little confused. It created a new event for December 12, and um, here's that synchronized clip. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to take this synchronized clip down into my movie. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim off the beginning part where she made that mistake and restarted. And then I'm going to trim off the end before I split these before I split these clips apart. So there's certain things I do while the clips are still together, and certain things I do once they're separated. So and and it'll save you time to know which you do when they're all together and which you do when they're separated. So I'm going to get to the beginning here. I'm going to first let me expand this a little bit so that we can see a little closer what we're doing here. <clears throat> Okay, and let me find where she restarted. 
So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit of something new. I kind of want to say a little, oh, I need to start that over. Okay, so here she's going to count. Two, one. So last. Okay, so she started right there. So I'm just going to take the blade, trim, trim, trim this right here. And I'm just going to discard that portion. Then, then I'm going to go to the end here. <clears throat> and I cannot let me expand this down a little bit. I don't need it quite that broad. Okay, so I'm going to go to the end and find the ending here. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, let's see here. All right, so we can end it about right here. Perfect. Okay, so now we got an, the ending that we want and we got the beginning that we want. Okay, so now <clears throat> there's two cameras involved and right now you can't see both cameras because the, 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 um, the clips are combined. So what you do is you clip on the clip and you go to clip up above here and you go to break apart clip items. This will separate the two cameras that we synchronize. And this could also be an audio track. There could be an audio track or more than one audio track, cameras, whatever. You can sync them all together. Now, the key is you want all the cameras to pick up some audio so that they have something to sync with. They, they're going to use the audio to sync these together. So that's why I clapped in the beginning to give Final Cut Pro a nice thing to look at and also it's going to look at all the talking and all and it's going to line it all up and it does a really good job synchronizing these so as long as the cameras pick up some of the audio that you're going to be it's going to be pretty good as far as it's syncing it now if you're in a real high noise environment and one camera's further away and it's not picking up the same audio then you could run into some issues but as long as the audio is pretty close on each camera you should have no problem syncing all right so having said that now, the first thing you want to do is take the audio that you want to keep and break it off of the clip because we're going to be cutting some of the clip out. So this, this camera on the top, that's the wide shot. That's the audio I know I want to keep. That's where she was mic'd up, and that audio is the good audio going right into my Sony NEX7. So I'm going to right mouse click on that, and I am going to detach audio. All right, so now that puts the audio I'm down say, below here, here as a separate element. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero out the audio on the camera that I don't want. Okay, so that would have been real hollow sounding audio that, that we don't want. So now <clears throat> if we listen, we're going to get great audio. Last but not least, I want to do every month continue with my favorite person or animal, but every month it's going to be my cat, so that's kind of cheating. But my favorite person of the month... Okay, and we're only going to get audio from what we want, because that's what we split out. And get rid of that notification on Twitter. Okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> now what we're going to do is we're going to decide what camera shots we want. And... This is a judgment call on your part, uh, how much you want to be the wide shot, how much you want to be the tight shot. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start out with the wide shot, because I like to do that because then I can put some lower thirds on it and so forth. So we're going to run that for a little while. Let's see here. So last but not least, I want to do every month continue with my favorite person or animal, but every month it's going to be my cat, so that's kind of cheating. But my favorite person of the month, I just... Now, even though she's looking at the other camera... Well, let's see when she looks to the to the other camera and see if we can see which ones we want to use here. Let's keep watching. Every month it's going to be my cat, so that's kind of cheating. But my favorite person of the month, I just want to say, is Craig Ship. Some of you know him, some of you may not. He's a person who helps me actually record most of my videos for Hooping Live and you know the recent hoop tutorials. He has a website, which is craigship.com. Check him out, and he has all sorts of different tutorials for technology to learning more about Google Hangouts. He knows so much with all of that, so if you have 
any questions about what he does, you can check him out on, like I said, craigship.com. I'll put the links below, but he has been helping me so much this month, getting all my stuff organized, so big thank you to him for putting together videos and stuff. And if you guys don't know about Hooping Live yet, it's a show that I have every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time at hoopinglive.com. It's just a place for hoopers to come and get together and learn about hooping and talk about hooping and all of that hoop stuff. So be sure to come there on Monday night if you can't get enough of me. And I really am happy you guys were here today to watch the video. Be sure to check out. Okay, so it looks like she was looking at the other camera the whole time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with the tight shot here. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to use my blade tool and I'm just going to do some cuts here with the blade tool periodically throughout the thing just to give me some places to work from. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is we can compact this down some more. Now I'm going to take out, get my selection tool, and I'm going to take out this, this first part. And let's see what we got here. So last but not least, I want to do every month continue with my favorite person or animal, but every month it's going to be my cat, so that's kind of cheating. But my favorite person of the month I just want to say is Craig Ship. Some of you know him, some of you may not. He's a person who helps me actually record most of my videos for Hooping Live and, you know, the recent hoop tutorials. He has a website, which is craigship.com. Check him out, and he has all sorts of different tutorials for technology to learning more about Google Hangouts. He does so much with all of that, so if you have any questions about... Okay, so now I'm going to take this shot out here. ...with all of that, so if you have any questions about what he does, you can check him out on, like I said, craigship.com. I'll put the links below, but he has been helping me so much this month, getting all my stuff organized, so big thank you to him for putting together videos and stuff. And if you guys don't know about Hooping Live yet, it's a show that I have every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time at hoopinglive.com. It's just a place for hoopers to come and get together and learn about hooping and talk about hooping and all of that hoop stuff. So be sure to come there on Monday night if you can't get enough of me. And I really am happy you guys were here today to watch the video. Be sure to check out for the next one coming up because there will be a giveaway in it for you guys. So hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so it's as simple as that. What we just did was we synchronized two clips and then we simply cut out part of the camera that was on the top. In Final Cut Pro, of course, whatever's on the top trumps whatever's down below. And so we cut out the portions of that camera, the wide camera shot that we didn't want. And you can fine tune these. You can, you can grab this and drag it and you know get your cut points right where you want now if i was directing properly when she was doing this piece i would have had her looking at um camera you know the one camera and then pointing and having her looking at the other camera because you can see that she's looking off camera a little bit on the um wide shot right there uh, but again it's not it's not the end of the world a little bit of off camera is is fine uh, but that's all to your personal taste, how, which cameras you have her looking at and, and so forth. But this is just an idea of how you synchronize things. And again, we had the good, good audio coming into the one camera, which was the wide shot, and then just room audio going into the other one, which, uh, which you obviously don't want. So that's one of the things we did was we zeroed that audio out. And again, we split the audio off of the other track because if we didn't do that, when we were cutting out pieces of that wide camera, we would have lost the audio because the audio was part of that that wide camera shot. So we had to split that out so that we'd be down below so that that would be safe and sound and then we could do our editing. So I'm gonna put some lower thirds on this. <laughs> lower thirds on this and I'm going to um, produce this little how-to video and at the end of it I'll have the finished video for you to watch um, in full 1080p and I hope you found this helpful for a quick easy way to synchronize uh, clips in uh, Final Cut Pro 10 whether they be audio clips or uh, video clips from multiple cameras. Thanks for tuning in and let me stop this screen recording. 
So last but not least, I want to do every month continue with my favorite person or animal, but every month it's going to be my cat, so that's kind of cheating. But my favorite person of the month, I just want to say, is Craig Ship. Some of you know him, some of you may not. He's a person who helps me actually record most of my videos for Hooping Live and you know, the recent hoop tutorials. He has a website, which is craigship.com. Check him out, and he has all sorts of different tutorials for technology to learning more about Google Hangouts. He does so much with all of that, so if you have any questions about what he does, you can check him out on, like I said, craigship.com. I'll put the links below, but he has been helping me so much this month, getting all my stuff organized, so big thank you to him for putting together videos and stuff. And if you guys don't know about Hooping Live yet, it's a show that I have every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Time at HoopingLive.com. It's just a place for hoopers to come and get together and learn about hooping and talk about hooping and all of that hoop stuff. So be sure to come there on Monday night if you can't get enough of me. And I really am happy you guys were here today to watch the video. Be sure to check out for the next one coming up because there will be a giveaway in it for you guys. So hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.